I'm going to go ahead and smoke some baby back ribs today. So these baby backs are a lot smaller. Um, they're smaller in terms of the uh, their width, but they're they're thicker generally uh, than regular spare ribs or St. Louis cut ribs. Um, so these are a lot easier to cook, in my opinion, at least. They're, as you can see, they're they're already. Um, I trimmed a little bit, but there's there's a lot less to trim on these than a regular rack of spare ribs. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use mustard uh, as a coating and then get a dry rub on these ribs before getting them on the smoker. But uh, baby backs, in my opinion, are they're easier than, um, than other ribs. Just smaller, easier to work with, but at the same time you do have to be careful not to over smoke these because um, they do, like all ribs, they take up smoke really, uh, really quickly. So again, using my shaker here, um, this is my favorite tool to use for ribs, getting the rub on nice and even. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply, I already did the back side here, but I'm just going to come down the line and get a nice even coat here. All the way through. Make sure this rub looks nice and uniform through the entire rack of ribs, and then I'll let this liquefy uh, for maybe 10 15 minutes before I get it back, uh, get this out on the smoker. So that's good. So, um, again, I'm going to follow the same method that I usually do for all ribs when I cook these today. I'm going to do uh, three hours in smoke and um, and then I'm going to foil wrap these using butter, brown sugar, and honey and uh, they'll go back in the smoker after they're foil wrapped for about um, about one hour. These This is kind of a small rack of, uh, of baby back ribs so um, I'm going to watch these close uh, about 45 minutes 45 to one hour maximum in foil because again, um, using that foil, in my experience, is very dangerous because uh, to me, once ribs, uh, once you've overcooked them, um, that's just as bad, even worse, than, um, than undercooking where they're not tender. So um, I'm always very careful not to overcook the ribs, very careful not to leave them in foil for too long. A lot of people like um, the, the 3 2 one method is very popular. The two is two hours in foil. Uh, in math, that method, I don't follow that. In my experience, again, that'll lead to the the, uh, the meat basically just just dropping right off the bones. I, I don't like uh, my ribs to be cooked um, that much. I don't like the, the meat to me gets kind of mushy and soggy at that point. So I go one hour max in foil. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this liquefy then out to the smoker. So these have set up now for about 10 minutes and you can see um, this rub really liquefied on here. Um, the rub that I made here for my ribs um, that I use has, has a little bit of uh, salt and sugar, um, both white and, and brown sugar, and that really helps bring out the moisture in the ribs and helps, uh, helps for the rub to liquefy. So that's exactly the look I'm going for before these go in the smoker. So again, how the ribs look before they go in is uh, going to really indicate what they look like when they come out. So I'm going to get these in the smoker and uh, leave these for the next three hours to take up smoke. And then after that, we'll get these wrapped in foil. Okay, these are on the smoker now and we'll get these uh, in about three hours. We're going to go ahead and get these off and get them wrapped in foil. All right, so ribs are just out of the smoker here after three hours. I'm going to go ahead and put them meat side down, put the bone side up, onto the butter, the brown sugar, and the honey. Okay, so on this side we're going to go ahead and put the honey on to the back side of the ribs. You can see here the nice color. If they go any longer, they might uh, get really dark on us and turn black. So I'm going to go ahead and just take 
just a little bit. No exact science for this. The uh, the rub that I use, the dry rub, is definitely uh, has a kick to it. It's pretty spicy. So the sweetness here from this uh, from the honey and the brown sugar in the wrap really contrasts nicely with the heat that's already on the ribs in the rub. Okay, then with these baby backs, have my uh, homemade barbecue sauce here, and I'm gonna just add a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just for a little touch of flavor there. I'll go ahead and wrap these up. Put them back in the smoker for just about one more hour here. I'm going to go back on the smoker again. We're going to be bone side up. And the reason for that, the ribs are actually going to be braising as they're uh, cooking in the moisture in the foil. The bone side of the rack of ribs has the thinnest meat and if that side is down in the moisture during this uh, during the cook process it can get very thin causing the bones to just fall right out so my preference is to always cook these in foil with the bone side up so these ribs have been on for just over an hour now put on the smoker so we're going to go ahead and take these off and we're going to get these sauce So, we'll go ahead and sauce these, and I'm going to go ahead and put these back on the smoker to let the uh, let the sauce set. But right now, I can tell when I took these off, um, these are just about done right now because they're extremely flexible. So I have my homemade barbecue sauce here, and we'll use uh, and use my rib brush. Smell fantastic. not quite as slow with this a little difficult to paint with one hand but you can see here that we're uh, we have a gorgeous color we're going to go ahead and get these back back on the smoker and let the uh, let the sauce set up on these for about 20 or 30 more minutes okay so this sauce is just about set here I'm going to go ahead and add, um, add a little bit more of my rub here before these come off. Just for a little extra bite flavor. I'm going to go ahead and let that, not adding a lot of rub, just a little bit. I'm going to let that kind of set up onto this sauce as it caramelizes here on the smoker here for the last uh, five, five, ten minutes. And here's the finished product. This is just off the smoker after allowed the sauce to set for probably about 20 minutes here. And the uh, purpose of that is just to get the sauce to caramelize a little bit, um, let it get sticky. 
but you know the ribs are done again um, I always test the ribs actually before I uh, take them off when they're in the foil wrap um, by uh, letting them kind of bend over on themselves trying to just kind of hold them by one end and seeing if they if they fold over on themselves almost fold in half then they're definitely done just to the point where they pull clean off the bone they bite clean um, but they don't fall off the bone but it's a very good rib tastes phenomenal okay thanks for watching